Alright, you see, so today um, we've kind of inadvertently gone back to letter writing. Um, this was just one of the lessons within the current topic that we're doing. But what you've got to do today is you have to pretend to be a teacher. And you are writing a letter to the zoo because you are trying to arrange a trip and you need to find out certain pieces of information. But before we get on to the main task, we're going to go through and have a look at our leaflet again. So the text we're going to look at today is an advertising uh, pamphlet type thing that is advertising London Zoo. As you can see by the date on the front, it isn't a very new leaflet. Um, you would see things like this in quite a lot of places, particularly if you go on holiday. And obviously the reason why they make them is to try and get visitors to go to whatever it is they're advertising. So in this case, they want to entice visitors to go to London Zoo. So the purpose is for it to look attractive, for it to grab people's attention so that they get more visitors. Obviously, it's important to have certain things on it, such as um, how to get there. So in this case, there's a map. Uh, because it's in London, they've got details of how to get there by tube and bus, how to get there by coach or car, how to even get there by water bus. It also very clearly displays the opening times and tells you when it is open as well. So in this case, uh, the only day it's closed is Christmas Day, so it's open all year round. On the back of the leaflet, obviously you have to imagine this concertina, you know, all folded up. Um, it is in multiple languages and that is obviously because it's a, tra it's a tourist attraction uh, to visitors from other countries. So it is drawing attention to Animal Adventure, Climb, Tunnel, Splash and Touch at ZSL, London's new family attraction. When we open the leaflet up, when we open the leaflet up, as you can see, it has different zones that it is drawing your attention to. So it's got the treetop zone, it has got the splash zone, the root zone, and the touch zone, which it says is new for 2009. So this is probably very difficult for you to read, so I'll read it for you. So the treetop zone, it says, Start your adventure at treetop village and meet the red pandas and koatas who make their lives among the leaves. Kids will have the freedom to climb, swing and visit the lookout towers for a treetop view of the world. The splash zone, it says, Our water-based zone near the shop and calf lets children play and learn how water gives life and the importance of conserving the environment. This area allows you to come active in our mini stream, take a seat in our secret garden, or be enchanted by some storytelling in the teepee. A teepee, in case you don't know, is kind of like a tall tent with some poles, uh, something that the Native Americans, plains people, uh, used to use uh, to live in, really, I guess. The root zone. From the tops of the trees down to the roots, visitors will be led through the earth to explore an underground world. A network of tunnels lets kids explore, challenge their fears, meet underground animals in their own habitat. Touch zone. Our touch zone lets children get hands on with our sheep and goat and meet our donkeys, llamas and cuny coon pigs. On the other side, it says, visit Africa in the heart of London, experience the sights, sounds and smells of the rainforest and get closer than ever to our gorillas. That's in the Gorilla Kingdom. In the Blackburn Pavilion, it says, come face to face with an amazing array of exotic birds, including the only hummingbirds on view in the UK. It also says, meet the monkeys into Africa and don't miss giant Galapagos tortoises coming soon. The bottom piece of information just says the Zoological Society of London is a charity devoted to the worldwide conservation of animals and their habitats through breeding endangered species at ZSL London Zoo and ZSL Whipsnade Zoo, carrying out research in conservation, biology and managing conservation programmes in over 30 countries worldwide, including the United Kingdom. For more information, visit zsl.org, registered charity in England, Wales, number 208728. ZSL is committed to limiting its impact on the natural environment. This leaflet is made from at least 75% recycled paper and uses vegetable-based inks from sustainable materials. 
So what we're going to be doing today, little one, is we're going to be writing a letter to find out information. What you're going to do, you're going to pretend that you are the class teacher. Uh, obviously, while you're pretending this, you can also pretend that we're able to go on school trips and there is no lockdown. So what you need to do is you're going to be writing a letter to the zoo to find out some things before your trip. I have included you a checklist to do your letter. You need to make sure you include the school's address. Hopefully you'll remember where you write your address when you write a letter. Write the date on the letter, today's date. Also, you need to write dear sir or madam because we don't know who we're writing it to. As we don't know who we're writing it to, we also end it by saying yours faithfully. So the checklist includes things that you need to include in your letter. You need to ask about an area to have lunch in case it rains. That's very important as a teacher to make sure that there's somewhere for the children to have their lunch uh, if the weather's bad. Also, we're going to have a, an imaginary talk about the penguins. So you need to ask what time the talk is on the penguin. So you're checking what time the talk is. You also need to double check if there is somewhere we can park the coach. Coachester Zoo has a massive car park. Do we know whether London Zoo has a massive car park? So double check that. And finally, ask about if they do goodie bags. As a teacher, what you really don't want to do on a school trip is go into the gift shop and have everyone come up and try and ask you if they've got enough money to buy this and buy that. What you like is just to go and get 20 goodie bags at the end of the trip and that headache be saved. Good luck with your letters, lower one. I look forward to reading them.